I had some concerns about the lead in the water in Pittsburgh after receiving a letter from the Water Authority in the summer of 2016. I immediately called to have the water testing kit sent to me and the lead levels in our water were more than double of the acceptable limit. I think until I put in a whole house filter, I didn't sleep. I just worried every single night about the health of my kids and why they didn't talk yet and you name it. I, I just couldn't sleep. Adelino. My children met every milestone until they hit three. Even at two and a half, they really weren't saying anything. You know, pragmatic speech goes with fine motor skills and fine motor skills they were also lacking. What about eight? Yeah. Seeing my own children <laughs> not talking, it has to be something. The levels of, of lead in Pittsburgh water as we stand here today are higher than the levels of lead in Flint's water. Scientifically, you just cannot have these elevated levels of lead in water without significantly contributing to the blood lead burden of pregnant women, children of all ages. After we had the whole house filter put in and they replaced our line from the street to the curb, I took the boys for a blood test and I, they were at four and a half. And I believe that the level is five or above to be considered as lead poisoning, but they had been drinking filtered water for six weeks before they were tested. And I thought, like, such a small amount, I mean, 0.5 is nothing, right? It could easily go down. I mean, my boys drink a lot of water daily. We had painted everything and everything had been, you know, redone. So, you know, just by process of elimination, you know that it has to be something in the water. I mean, they're bilingual. They're boys, they talk later, they're multiples, and they were premature. And so it's hard to say if that fifth factor would be the lead. But there must be some correlation to health issues and lead in water. It's clear that corrosion control is a key part of how lead gets into water, and if you have better corrosion control, lead levels are lower, and so it's certainly one of the factors that's, that's likely to cause the increase in lead. My name is Deb Gross, I'm a member of Pittsburgh City Council for District 7, and full disclosure, I'm also on the board of the Pittsburgh Water and Sewer Authority. And I think my first board meeting was in April of 2014. We are currently suing Veolia, part of that lawsuit that I shouldn't say much about uh, because it's current, um, does try to hold them accountable for part of this problem. We have questions about their judgment in the chemicals that were used and whether or not it caused any harm to this lining of the pipes that we've learned about because of the, the unfortunate experience in Flint. He just recently turned one in January and they said that his lead levels were higher than normal. Like seven. Seven point something. We don't have lead paint in the house or anything because that was tested. As far as my son is concerned, there are, he doesn't have that many toys. You know what I mean? And the only thing that it could be that he consumes the most is water. And it, when we started making him drink it more, it seemed like that's when his levels went up. Not only is the lead poisoning decreasing, but the amount of children poisoned by water, lead in our water is zero. The amount of children in the city of Pittsburgh being poisoned by lead in our water is zero. You know, you think you live in a modern city, in a modern country, with modern water guidelines, and that people actually follow those guidelines. And if there is a problem, that they're going to warn you about it. If we're Flintsburg, 
someone has to take responsibility.